Hi everyone, good morning. I have to be a little quiet. I'm just getting home. It's eight in the morning and Steph's still sleeping. I'm gonna have a little cereal. <laughs> that would make a bunch of noise. How you doing? You all all right? Hanging in there? Hope you're having a good day and a good week. I was driving home today from work and listening to a bunch of 80s soft rock. I love 80s soft rock. I love it. I just love it. Simply Red, Phil Collins, Carly Simon, Journey, Foreigner. The list goes on and on and on. There's a lot of nostalgia uh, surrounding that. And whether it's well, I think it's a combination of things. I think it's a combination of me being, you know, a kid in the 80s and then, you know, late 90s or early 90s, you know, hearing these songs and being young and being impressionable and just, you know, my dad just, he knew how to spin the tunes always. And he'd play all these great 80s uh, ballads and uh, soft rock and pop hits, you know. And on top of it, it's just that these songs all, they they did something different than that most songs don't do. You know what I mean? Like the the piano and the keyboards that were used and the strings and and the vocals and the harmonies and just the words and the you know the lyrics and everything. It's like the perfect storm, you know. And I think that's what I love most about these 80s um, ballads and soft rock hits. Um, definitely in the 90s, I love slow jams and music is, music from the, those eras are so special to me. But starting from the 80s, you know, I feel that they just did something different, you know. They, they made you feel a certain way and that's something I've always carried with me even into my own productions and my own making of music is that I love music that does something to me and for me. If I get goosebumps or it makes me feel a certain way or you know what I mean? Like that's, that's so powerful. Maybe I'm kind of a broken record. I feel like I've said this a lot in my life. Maybe, maybe not, but you know, when music does something special to you, it uh, it's it's really, really something that you should stop and and and, to, and like realize that what's happening. You know what I mean? And just enjoy it and and just embrace it. Have you ever, um, you've been driving in the car and um, you pull up to a light or you're, you know, you're on the freeway or something and you look to your left or your right and you see someone else in the car next to you and they're, they're singing, they got their hands going, they're, they're kind of like just dancing in their car, they're, they're, oh, they're getting into it, they're like singing at the top of their lungs with their windows up or, you know, you're stopped at a light and you look over and someone's in the car just finger drumming on the steering wheel. I mean, that's me. But, you know, other people are drumming on the steering wheel or they're just like getting into it. And they're experiencing that. They're experiencing that emotion or that action. They're experiencing it because of the song that they're listening to. Like that song brought that out, right?
they're not doing that because they hate the song, right? They're doing it because they love it. And it's controlling them. It's controlling their body. It's controlling their, their mind. It's making them have a reaction. It's powerful. It's very powerful. I think we take it for granted, you know? And I think that's why I will always hold music um, to a higher standard and it's going to be on a different tier for me always. It just means so much more to me. It's so much more special. It's so powerful I can do that. It's like you know, when you smell something like a scent and it can take you right back to that moment in time. It can remind you of that person as well, you know, like a perfume or a cologne. You'll smell it and you'll be like, oh, oh, you know what I mean? Like it will take you there, but you'll instantly go there. Same thing with like a song or music. I mean, of course, photography, same way, but uh, but a song, when you hear a song, it'll instantly take you back to that moment. And you can just sit there and just relive that magical or terrible time. Both, both, both of those would share equal respect, you know? And um, it's cool, it's really cool. I, I just, on my way home from work today, I was just listening to all these 80s soft rock hits, and I, it would just take me, it's take me back to 87, 88, 89, 90, you know, the year these songs were coming out, and I just, I just sent a text to my mom and my dad, and I just said, hey, uh, I just listened, I just got done, the song of the day is Elton John, Sacrifice, go listen to that, look that up on YouTube, go listen to that, great tune, I remember my dad spinning it when I was a kid, it came out in 89, great song. But I mean, I miss it. I miss it a lot. And um, I'm going to continue to put that, that, that thought and that passion and that, that motive into my music as I continue forward to, you know, to produce stuff. It's, it's just important, you know, it's important to not lose focus on that. You know, you can turn out music. You can turn out a song a day if I wanted to. Two songs a day if I wanted, but I'd much rather have some substance and something that means something to me and to others. You know, so. I don't know. I'm just glad to share this moment with you. Have a little cereal. And uh, talk about some music. What about you? Like some 80s um, soft rock hits too? Can't be just me. Can't be. Maybe you weren't born yet. Maybe you should get into it. You should. If you weren't around in the 80s or the 90s, definitely take a look at uh, a Spotify playlist or YouTube playlist or wherever you listen to music. Just check it out. Maybe I'll put one together. Maybe I'll put one together of all of my favorite soft rock hits. You know what? I'll work on that. I'll work on that for you. I'll, I'll put together a Spotify playlist of my favorite soft rock hits and I will put it on my my Spotify artist page so you can go check it out which by the way if you haven't if you're not following me on Spotify please do uh, I have an artist page up there too which is cool I'm a verified artist on Spotify you may or may not know that go check it out it's in the description below in the YouTube uh, description so uh, well I had my cereal feeling pretty good I'm gonna relax for a few hours and then uh, head back to bed and do it all over again. Weekend's almost here, so hope you're having a great week. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. I just want to do a little vlog, hang out, talk. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye.